The oldest song I had, the first cut, which was that uh, Making Ends Meet. Now here's a brand new single that I have out um, that I wrote with my good pal, Melody Guy. And I guess the idea for this song, it's really been the blessing of my life, certainly my songwriter life, to participate uh, in working with veterans with PTSD. Um, we do it out at Vince Gill and Amy Grant's farm um, with Music Therapy of the Rockies, and it's a really great uh, organization. They bring together vets who are really hurting, uh, and it's anything from you know young vets, folks that are still in in their twenties, struggling to you know even Vietnam era vets. It really is a lesson in uh, um, what war does uh, long term. But, uh, these men and women are really hurting, so they bring them out to the farm, and they uh, they give them some music therapy. They give them guitars, even even if they don't know how to play. They also get them started with some lessons out there for the weekend, uh, and they give them guitars because they look and they feel in their hands like a rifle. And so they've learned that if they can replace the rifle with the guitar, a lot more healing happens. So. Anyway, it's been a, a real blessing to be out there. They, when they're not doing music uh, lessons and therapy out there, they'll rotate them around and they'll put them with um, songwriters that are uh, there to help them write their story, or at least one of their stories. And so I think that was the genesis of this idea, really, uh, because I really understood self-doubt and questioning yourself and the pain that comes from struggle being out there with those men and women and, uh, was thinking about some advice, and I think when I sat down with my pal Melody Guy, we came up with maybe the best advice is just learning to talk to yourself like a good mama would. So that's uh, that's the newest single out there in the Spotify and Apple Music Land. So here we go. With this day, nobody could have done it better. Close your eyes and put it away. It ain't the best or the worst one ever. You know you say that you're standing still.
Thank you. Thank you. Hey, if you just uh, tuned in, this is my pal Ron De La Vega up here on the bass. <laughs> Ron plays uh, with my band Runaway Home too, been with us for a long time, and has played with everybody. Let's see, Engelbert Humperdinck, uh, Mannheim Steamroller, maybe. Uh, crickets? The Crickets. The Crickets. Uh, Nancy Griffiths, Blue Moon Orchestra. Hey, if you guys have another two hours, we're going to go through the last one. <laughs> Melody Guy says, whoop, she loved to hear the song. Uh, thanks, Melody. And your mom said, you do listen to your mama sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's authentically my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Melody, I love writing that song with your sister. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. Oh, man, we were supposed to have my pal uh, Gabe Perdulis with us tonight, who uh, I've written most of these songs with, and he has produced the... Um, uh, the EPs that will, or the singles that will soon be an album, probably about midsummer. And uh, if you want to hear a really great slide solo, go to go to Spotify and Apple Music and uh, on Talk to Yourself, the new single, you'll hear him doing that. Uh, anyway, sending uh, uh, healthy, peaceful vibes out is why I feel a little under the weather, but uh, uh, being well represented in song tonight. So let's see. Uh, okay, we'll go back in time a little bit since I clearly can't see my set list. Uh, this I wrote with a dear friend of mine that uh, we lost some time ago. I don't even want to venture a guess now because I don't know whether it was yesterday or 10 years ago. It could have been both, you know. His name was Tim Johnson, and most of you that know uh, country music and uh, songwriters remember Tim Johnson. He and I were uh, good pals and landed in town about the same time. And we had a little mini hit with uh, Neil McCoy years ago. When I say mini hit, it was somewhere in the top 15, but let me, for those of you that don't understand uh, songwriter language when it comes to hits, a mini hit is where <clears throat> the record label and your performing rights organization is going to say, hey, you know what, you're going to make this much money. And so you're smart, but you're also poor, so you go to the bank and you borrow this much money. <laughs> and then you wind up making <laughs> that's, that's been my life. But I'm proud of this song. It did pretty well, and uh, it's one, one of my favorites to write. It's about a bunch of drunks uh, in a bar. Called Every Man for Himself. Oh, we can do this in B flat, right? Hey, I'll play it in B flat, you play it in B, and <laughs> people will turn off their TVs.
wrap up my pal, uh, little pal, Tim Johnson. <clears throat> Here's a song, uh, kind of an old song that uh, Gabe and I wrote. Maybe it's been three or four years now. Um, writing a lot these days, so an old song is last week anymore. Or whatever song you happen to forget. <laughs> They're all old. Uh, anyway, this is going to be on the next half of the record. Just went in and cut a bunch of new songs, kind of basic tracks, and uh, this was on there. And it's all about a couple starting over again and figuring that, hey, uh, if, if the uh, relationship's a little chilly, why not move a little south? So it's called Take You South. about uh, 
trying to figure out what success is. And these days and times, well, for all of us really, certainly for creators, we're having to redefine what success is. Hell, I've had to do that about every year of my, <laughs> my career, but now, nowadays you really have to think about what success is. And this song talks about maybe uh, success is if you end up planting your feet where your heart is, well, maybe you kind of got a hold of something. So this is called Back to the Garden. There's something about playing in a, in a wonderful uh, guitar gallery with a great uh, luthier. Uh, I'm playing this old Martin D35 that I got when I was 13. And this is the first time I've ever had a tune, but I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're already looking this thing up and down. May do, I may have, have him do a fret job before I leave tonight. How quickly can you do that? <laughs> you can do a big done way for you. Hey, can you go song number six and seven? Yeah, that's right, I bet you could, and I bet if I turned around and grabbed any guitar on the wall, I'd be all right. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's go back to the garden. Mm-hmm.
definition of you guys? I mean, put your feet where your heart is. And, yeah. Well, if you're starving to death, you'll still have a good time. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're kind of winding down the last couple songs, and let me just say again how uh, thrilled I am to be here. Thank, uh, thank Mango and Julie for having me. I'm a great crew. Uh, appreciate you guys. So we'll end up with these last two. Uh, wrote this next song, uh, uh, The Night That John Prine Died. Mm. Goodness, Dad, Fred. Yeah. Got the lion. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh, singing this for John Prine and singing it for uh, my uncle Richard, who lost his life to that same damn disease, and for anybody out there that's struggling with it mm. and have lost people to it, uh, we're thinking about you. And ready for the running out to end, so. There's a full moon tonight and a tear in the sky This prime didn't make it Something in the air got everyone scared and Even the tough ones are breaking Maybe God wasn't paying attention to things slip by up and down. Cause I'm running out of whiskey for all the people like I'm bringing to. And I'm running out of time to get everything off my chest. still needs us both. Just because I can't see it. Hold me, hold me, don't you ever let me go. I still need you, 
You still need me. Oh, and love still needs this boy.